Hi everyone, David Mitchell from Baby Renovations and it's the end of week 12 of our Scott Street project in Beaumaris and it's really getting exciting now. Uh, we have completed so many things in the last couple of weeks and now we're getting to the point where we're starting to put in all the finishings and fixtures of things. So let's get into it. This last week, probably the biggest thing that happened or the couple of biggest things that happened is all the plastering is now completed. Um, so you'll see everywhere now it's all set, it's all sanded. That was done uh, at the end of last week. And then this week, all of the brand new hardwood timber, so this whole area underneath all of this plastic protected area, it's all brand new timber boards, Tassie oak timber boards, and it looks incredible. If you remember, we had a pile sitting here as well. And what we did, we relocated that timber up into this section in here as well. So all in there, that's all laid now. And then once that went in, we put in all the architraves and all the skirting boards and everything everywhere. You can see just here, even just on the steps, the detail there that the boys have had to go to to get around and in under those stairs. Um, actually, you can see the Tassie oak on those, on those stairs there. Look at that. Looks amazing. Um, so we've still got a tiny little bit of skirt to do. It takes a lot of time around the stairs, but you can see the rest of the, the house and all up around the doorways. Uh, everywhere um, has all been completed even around these architrave windows it was a bit of a funny story this the architrave windows are now in and all you know plastered around and everything when they were delivered they were actually delivered wrong they came they came delivered reversed um, the uh, the rep had got it wrong <laughs> so it pays to double check but out of all the windows and doors in the entire house that was the only one that was wrong and this is looking incredible the other thing that happened this week really big thing was all of the new reverse cycle air conditioning went in you can see all the ducts hanging out of of the ceiling now it used to be in the floor so we've sealed up all the floor ducts you can see here the return air um, and the um, the control pad on the wall there it's a really, really good system. It's all fully um, zoned in every part of the house. So happy that the clients have done that because that's going to make this house now so livable. Um, the other thing is my electrician's obviously been through. Um, you can see a lot of um, wires hanging out of the walls now. So we've cut in after plaster to make sure that we've got everything where we need it. Um, obviously the uh, architraves are not on these two windows because we need the stone to go in first so we can get that cut perfectly to the bench top. Um, all our plumbing sticking out in the right places. Um, you can see all our wiring here for our LED strip lights and all that sort of stuff. So you can see a little bit of those new boards there in that butler's European laundry section. And the house is just so open and looks incredible. I am... I'm getting really excited myself, if you can't tell. I mean, the clients are coming back um, to have a look um, in the next couple of weeks, and I cannot wait for them to walk through the house because they have not seen it since we started. Such awesome clients to work with as well. They've been amazing. So looking forward to, to showing them now. We've, um, we've done a couple of thing in the, things in the bathrooms as well. So we've actually waterproofed and we've tiled the toilet floor, we've waterproofed all of the, the bathrooms and you can see here now extensive waterproofing all through. Um, and then what we've done, we've put underfloor heating in. You can see all these wires here. Uh, we put underfloor heating down, then we put a self-level, very skim, thin skim layer of self-leveling over the top and then we, then we tile over the top of that. Um, and then you can see there that those tiles are ready to go. So that's tomorrow morning. Um, well, probably not tomorrow morning, on Monday, um, and um, yeah, so you can see these, these steps as well, um, how good's that? Um, we will just quickly look through here, so all the architraves everywhere are all done, all of the windows, all of the, the skirting boards, uh, I'm just trying to not make this video too long, but you can see all of the skirting everywhere is in. The, all of the ducted's in this room as well and all of the electrical has been cut in as well everywhere you've got wires out of new and old plaster 
all in the right locations. All of our old holes are filled in and our new ones are in the perfect positions um, as to where we need them to be. All of the architraves around these windows in the bathrooms are all in now. The carcasses for the, uh, for the uh, shaving cabinets are in and all plastered around. This room is all square set um, and you can see we've cut where the heat light fan unit goes in here. Um, and yeah, that's looking really, really good. Um, it's same in here. So the same thing in this bedroom here as in all the bedrooms, all the architraves, all the skirting boards, everything's on. Um, so moving on up um, into this part of the house, obviously all the plastic's gone down. We didn't quite get finished. As you can see, that area there isn't finished. We need to tape that up and um, finish the skirting boards. Uh, only one side's been done. We need to do the other side. Um, and the reason why we're covering up is because the painters are coming through. They're going to be um, painting absolutely everything as of this week. Um, they're coming in before the cabinet makers. Um, they just wanted to do it that way. Then we'll get the cabinet makers in and then they can come and finish off together. It's a really big space anyway. They can work together. It's just um, sometimes it's better to do it that way. You can see in here, there's all new boards in the powder room and then all the skirting board is in. You can see that um, in wall system there now. And, and um, obviously when we come in, you can see this is where our powder um, a powder room vanity goes and we've, we we removed the ceiling in this room as well and we put a whole new ceiling in um, so that it was just it was just a better way to do it so that's why we did that uh, the cornice is yet to go in but you can see all the architraves all the skirting boards are in and if we quickly run up to the top section of the house uh, the door that came originally uh, was no good, it was bowed. So I demanded a new door and it looks incredible. Looks so good. Look at the detail on that door and that's not even finished yet. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, love that. Um, so that's that's the new door. That's a brand new door delivered. Um, the other one had to go back, it was no good. Um, all the architraves and skirts are around all these windows and doors and everywhere as well. Everywhere, all of the the repairs, all the tooth work um, for all of the timber underneath that plastic's all being completed. I might be able to pull that back actually just to give you a really quick look. I'll do that quickly. So you can see, you can see here, you can see how that floor's all toothed in. Um, it was right all the way across. It's been toothed right all the way back. And that was because there used to be a bit of steel across the top of the steps so we had to go all the way back and tooth that whole section in so it looks like it was always naturally laid there and then on the sides it didn't cover so we had to buy wide boards and rip them down so that it looked absolutely perfect and it does once it's all sanded it's going to look amazing so i'm really really happy with the boys and the way they've done all of the work here around the doorways and everything like that as well um, you can see the work that's been done, uh, incredible. So uh, again, this is all cut in in the master bedroom. Um, the the uh, heat, uh, the, what's the name? Uh, God, the um, the uh, air conditioning vent is in and as are the windows and all the skirting and architrave in here as well. That's all completed. Um, and then the floor has been laid as well. So that's all in. It, up here, it's the rock salt floor. Looks awesome. Like, so good. Look at the texture on that floor. That looks so good. I love the rock salt. It's very difficult to beat. And again, this room's all uh, plastered and the shaving cabinets are in place. Um, this is where the LED lights go all the way around them. Um, and again, the architraves around the window all the ceiling and everything's all brand new. Um, heat, heat light fan unit sitting there. It's all square set and extensive waterproofing. Again, as you can see uh, everywhere, um, we've overkilled the waterproofing as we always do. Why not? It's not, it's not that hard to do. So again, that's in. Beautiful, looking good. Um, part of the um, air conditioning stuff still to be completed. 
And if we go into the front room, uh, obviously, again, Scooty and Arc Tray is all done. The air conditioning duct's done. All of the electrical has been cut in in this room as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, uh, as I mentioned, um, the boys, carpenters, will be back here in the morning. We probably will lay that bathroom floor some stage to, uh, Monday morning, if not um, Tuesday morning, um, just in front of the painters so it's got time to dry. Uh, the painters are going to be in for the next week or two, and then we'll get the cabinet makers through. The electrician might come and just finalise a couple of things, um, liven up a few things, um, and then after paint, obviously we can finalise um, the fit off of all of the electrical stuff and you know all the powerpoints and we can clip up all of the the ducts and all that everywhere um and make sure our cabinetry is perfect get our stone ordered and then get the the plumbers through so we're getting close we're definitely getting close week 12 um going into week 13 i think it's a lot done in three to four months you know that's that's exceptional uh, work by my trade team. I'm so proud of the boys. The other thing that's going to be done this week is um, the we're going to start doing all outside around the top of the doors. We've got some renderers um, coming through to start to fix up that stuff um, like on the, on the side of the door there that you can see um, but yeah, all in all absolutely thrilled with the progress and I can't wait to, to see this one come to life. So thanks for watching.